So I'm here with Stefan and he's sitting right in front of me inside of my gar. And again, I'm sort of in an open position. When I'm here, I actually create a nice little barrier for myself. Stefan's in his zone, I'm in mine. Once he starts to come into my zone, let's say he pushes my shoulder, if I make the mistake of actually falling back and accepting this, he's kind of pushed me back already one step, right? So instead of allowing him to drive me all the way back, I want to maintain a little bit more forward pressure so that when he pushes me, I'm able to stay and if even push back at him or maybe I drive his hands away. I don't want to think about just accepting any momentum or energy that he gives me because I'm just absorbing his intention and the worst case scenario here is that he pushes me and then he makes a first motion and he puts me in a position where I won't be able to get back up again. So regardless of what type of guard you're fighting from, think about how you're entering into your attack, right? I want to be here. If Stefan starts to reach in to push me, I want to think about redirecting his hands. As soon as I touch his hands, we're, all, we're starting to engage with each other and I can actually feel the type of energy that he's giving me. I don't want to let his arms grab onto the inside control, grab onto my shoulders, and again, just like the hand fighting section that we did in the beginning, push me over or take me into a position that I don't want to go. So as your partner comes in, think about deflecting the arms a little bit, right? From here, I'm still keeping the forward momentum, but now I'm able to set myself up for an attack. Stefan's going to enter in again. Maybe this time I go for inside control and I'm looking for the biceps. Either way, I keep a very open space so that I'm clearly in my zone and he's in his. From here, when I'm ready, I have enough space here that I can work in and start to look for an underhook or perhaps from here, I can actually pass the arm off, go for my two on one grip or maybe an arm drag. But the reality is I'm setting everything up based upon what he's given me. He gives me a little bit of a pressure and attack. I block him and from here, with this little bit of energy that's going back and forth between us, I'm actually going to use that to circle and start setting up my attacks. In addition to being mindful of where my partner's hands are, I also want to engage my feet. We've discussed this before, that I always want to have some hooks that are live and ready. When I'm seated on the floor, all I really need to do is keep my hooks on the inside of Stefan's legs. From here, I can just engage with him and I can sort of follow and feel whether he's going to stay kneeling or if he's going to stand up. I can also place my feet on his hips if I want to. Perhaps if he starts moving towards me, I can just block his hip like this, okay? So whether I have my feet on the inside of his knees or maybe I have him right here, I can again stay engaged with my partner and actually with my feet get a better gauge for what his body is doing. With my hands, I'm sort of fighting his upper body. With my feet, it's the lower body. Now perhaps Stefan actually goes ahead and stands up. From a standing position, I can also still stay engaged. Whether I'm hooking at the knee or pushing away, pushing at the hips, I can also sit up and just follow with my hooks. So if Stefan actually goes to start trying and move around, I can actually just stay and feel which way he's going, right? From here, you can see I can already start grabbing behind the knee. Perhaps he moves back the opposite way. He might think about moving backwards and I've got him a little bit and he might fall. <laughs> Again, if he comes forward, I'm ready with my upper body. I'm also ready in case, let's say one of his legs dives right in between mine. I have my hand ready to block his knee. So I'm always preventing his advance giving him a little bit of pressure and waiting for that pressure and that reaction cream to come back at me, at which point I can set up a better attack.